A global transition to renewable and low-carbon fuels is underway driven by the shifting consumer attitudes, a burgeoning supply of cleaner burning natural gas, and increasingly stringent emission policies and regulations. To this effect, a paradigm shift is about to occur in the global shipping industry when, beginning in 2020, the International Maritime Organization, the regulatory authority for international shipping, will require ocean-going vessels to reduce the sulfur content in their fuel from 3.5 to 0.5 percent to reduce harmful emissions. Lower sulfur fuels like marine gas oil and marine diesel oil are potential alternatives to the heavy fuel oils used today by cargo vessels, but they can be costly. An innovative, low-cost, low-emitting solution is the use of dual-fuel engines powered by the methanol produced by the game-changing, small-scale, gas-techno, mini-to-gas liquids process. A dual-fuel ship is essentially defined as a fuel choice. So that engine has a choice to operate on two or more fuels. For example, most ships run on high-sulfur fuel oil. And there's a transition now to allow that ship to operate on high sulfur fuel oil in the high seas. But as you come into these special zones off the coast of the United States and in Europe, they transition to run on methanol or LNG. And so this dual fuel concept allows you to operate on two fuels. So there's a real opportunity for gas techno in the inland waterway shipping industry. So a lot of these tugboats that go up and down the Mississippi, for example, don't have the, the space for an LNG fuel tank. So being able to put a liquid fuel, as in methanol or diesel or ethanol, really provides the ship owners with a, an advantage compared to having to convert over to LNG. And with the, the new emissions regulations, they're being forced to either upgrade their, their engines, their, their scrubbing, exhaust scrubbing, or using different fuels. LNG tanks are, are cylindrical and they have a lot of insulation on them. So the space available on a ship is typically a square area or a rectangular area where they're allowed to put a fuel tank. So in the case of diesel or methanol or any liquid fuel, they take that square area and they use it all for fuel storage. Now in the case of LNG, they take a cylindrical tank like a propane tank and they try to squeeze that into this small rectangle. So they lose all the space that surrounds this cylindrical tank is open space that's not used to store fuel. And besides that, those LNG tanks that are kept at minus 60 degrees centigrade have a thick layer of insulation so that they stay that cold, which also takes up space and they're not able to put as much fuel on board. So this is an opportunity where methanol may play a major role in the shipping industry. Two significant factors are driving the transition to lower carbon fuel sources like methanol, climate change policies, and the abundant supply of inexpensive natural gas. The recently signed Paris Climate Accord, along with other policies and initiatives such as the International Maritime Organization Low Sulfur Fuel Requirement, are driving the demand for low carbon technologies and low carbon fuels globally. These and other emission policies, coupled with the massive increase in low-cost shale gas supply from which cleaner burning, low-carbon fuels such as methanol can be produced, are driving the transition from traditional gas and diesel to low-carbon fuels like methanol. The International Maritime Organization estimated that shipping accounted for 2.2% of the global human-made carbon dioxide emissions in 2012. Barring a move to low carbon fuels, the IMO estimates that CO2 emissions from shipping will double or triple by 2050. Gas Techno, through its patented mini GTL solution, can produce clean burning methanol fuel to help shipping industry customers lower cost while meeting stringent sulfur and carbon emission compliance obligations. Methanol could be incorporated into ships whereby the current high sulfur fuel oil market begins to transition to marine diesel or very low sulfur diesel. There's a movement and there's policy that could affect all the ship owners in the next 18 months. That policy calls for a very low sulfur fuel to be operating these ships. And if that's the case, the marine diesel market doesn't have the capacity to supply all of these ship owners. 
so methanol has been looked at as a preferred fuel of choice where those ship engines and the tanks themselves can be converted to run on methanol. And if that's the case, then Gas Techno would be a perfect a partner for some of these ship owners. Gas Techno is planning to penetrate the dual fuel ship industry by working with ship owners, also engine manufacturers and ship builders, to integrate a methanol system into the ship and then allow us to be the preferred methanol fuel supplier. We can do that by installing these small plants, these mini plants, at various point sources at, at ports of call where these ships come into. And now they have access to methanol on demand. Dual fuel engines coupled with direct, ready access to low carbon fuels like methanol at shipping ports will provide flexibility for shipping industry customers and help them meet emission compliance obligations. With its patented small scale mini GTL solution, Gas Techno will situate at port locations to produce methanol for providing dual fuel ships with the ready access to the clean burning fuels necessary for emission compliance. For more information about Gas Techno and their methanol in a box distribution hubs, please contact Walter Brenstein at the following email.